true believers, it's your old pal Spider-Man back again for a special edition of Spider Shave for the TSC. Why is this a special edition? Well, uh, if you follow the channel or know anything about me and my channel at all, uh, I haven't made a video in probably a good year or so. Um, but this one was requested by the cadre, uh, so we're going to do this one. We are doing uh, two things that we do in February. Uh, we do the annual one blade challenge uh, where the goal is to use one single blade for the entire month If you can't use a single blade and you have to switch it out uh, You need to go to at least the same blade and use it again Try to get that one to last a little bit longer than it did before um, I routinely get 30 to 60 days off a of blade. So that one is really no big challenge for me um, Also, we do the Williams 3017 which is using one puck of Williams for the entire month or until it is gone. Uh, some people can use it up if they really try to burn through it in as little as 20 days. Um, usually people get 30 to 60 days out of a puck, uh, depending on how much they load and how much they might uh, soak the puck beforehand to soften it up. But I threw in a little uh, extra, extra, extra this time. Um, we made it the ultimate uh, challenge uh, for people who are minimalists, uh, and that is to try to use one blade and one puck of Williams for 100 days. So use the same blade. This one you're not allowed to switch out. You have to use the same blade for 100 days and try to get your puck of Williams to last 100 days. Uh, surprisingly, uh, I think we had half a dozen or so members sign up for that, um, probably because I put a pretty good prize uh, for... Uh, Anybody that completes it, uh, there's a, a going to be a drawing for anybody that completes the 100 shaves with both the blade and the soap, um, we'll go into a raffle for a pretty big prize. Um, so I think that's why a lot of people signed up, um, but we're going to have a good time with this. So I wanted to show my method because I think I'm going to be able to blast that 100 out of the water with the, uh, the Puck of Williams. And people are asking me how, so I wanted to show you my technique. Um, just did my typical pre-shave, which was a shower and we're gonna get right into the shave. So all I'm gonna do is just re-wet my face a little bit. And I'm not using a brush at all. Uh, I'm just going to grab the puck of soap and just rub it on my face a little bit, kind of like a shave stick. I'm gonna put a little bit more water on it. And that's it, we're ready for a shave. Now somebody out there might be thinking, ah, oh, he's gonna do this without a blade. So let's just make sure I got a blade in here. It's my Feather ASD2 with a Persona blade. And just drops up in a sink. We'll go to it. So some people might be thinking, well, how are you shaving without a lather? Well, Williams is like stupid slick. It's the slickest soap out there. Uh, I've never ever found any artisan soap that compares to the slickness in Williams. So, um, just getting a little bit of a film of the Williams on your face is enough to provide the, all the slickness that you need. Um, and then people are like, well, what about the cushion? Like, I, I don't know. I don't really think uh, cushion does a whole lot for the shave. Um, I mean, if you think about it. Okay, so that I'm done. That's past one. I'm done. All I'm gonna do for pass two, I'm not even gonna go back to the puck. Just gonna give it a little bit more water, re-wet the face. Uh, Williams has tons of residual slickness, so there is enough residual slickness for me to keep going and do another pass. Um, so my second pass is against the grain. Um, so as I was saying, if you think about it, when you lather up your face, uh, you can lather up your face with, you know, if you get full, um, a full yogurty thick lather, you can have an inch of lather on your face, right? 
well, how much of that lather actually counts? Like, okay, you got an inch of lather in your face. Well, cut it down to a half an inch. Have you affected your shave at all? No. Cut it down to a quarter of an inch. Have you shave affected your shave at all? No. The only bit of that lather that makes any difference to your shave is the part that's right at your skin. And that's basically all I have left or all I have on my face is just what would be right at the skin level, the only part that really matters to your shave. So it's truly the ultimate minimalist way of using a soap because there is absolutely no waste. I'm not wringing a bunch of soap out of my brush and lather down in the sink after my shave. As so you can see, I kind of at the end there, transition to uh, an across the grain. Just gonna re-wet here, do a little bit of a touch up. A little buffing on my chin here to do. Done. That's all it takes to get a great shave with Williams. So, I, you know, a lot of people try to use Williams and they get that dissipating lather. So they'll, you know, they'll spend a couple minutes building a lather, they'll put it on their face and it dissipates. You know, if they didn't get the proportions just right, it'll dissipate on their face. And that's what kind of led me to the idea of doing it like this. When you get dissipating lather, it still doesn't affect your shave. You still get a great shave because of the slickness of the Williams. So really, you don't need the lather to produce a great shave. And that's what I'll be doing for the next at least 100 days. Um, I, going off of this method and using it like this, um, I almost expect this puck is going to last me a year um, doing it like that. So I'm, I'm just going to try. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, basically, the only thing that I can vary now in my shave, since I'm not using a brush, I'm not using a different soap every day, I'm not using a different razor, a different blade every day, um, is my post shave. So my post shave is always um, Witch Hazel, uh, which this is a blend that uh, I made from uh, Thayer's, Quinn's, and Dickinson's. Um, I've got some, a few different uh, flavors all mixed in together. Um, I didn't like the Quinn's by itself. It was a little too heavy. So I mixed it with some of the Thayer's and um, and the Dickinson's to kind of um, thin it out a little bit. Um, and, and I really like the way this one feels now. And then, of course, the aftershave, which I'm using Master Smoky Oud, which I love the scent. Unfortunately, all the master aftershaves have been discontinued. So I made sure to buy a few bottles of that. Um, so that hopefully I never run out of it because I really, 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 really like it. But that's it. That's all there is to it for a Williams shave. Um, also, uh, I've done the Williams in conjunction with the One Blade February before. And in my opinion, the slickness from the Williams really helps the blade um, go longer. So for everybody on the cadre that is doing both, um, and if you've used the blade that you're using before, uh, I fully expect you to be able to use that blade longer than you've ever used it before if you haven't used it in conjunction with Williams. I think it really has an effect, and I'm curious to see your results uh, from that. So enjoy your shaves. We'll see you guys on the cadre. Later.